Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to install the Trafalgar Fire Strap, which is a head of wall penetration upgrade system. Now surface penetrations usually shouldn't be installed through the head tracks of lightweight walls like plasterboard, speed panel and hebel, even concrete and masonry, because there's usually a joint across the top that allows for movement between the slab and the wall. And when we do our fire testing, typically most manufacturers will test in a smaller pilot scale furnace, so we don't get the full deflection that you'd find in a full scale wall test. So what we've done at Trafalgar is we've gone and done a full scale wall test with a deflection head to get the deflection of the wall during a real fire test in full scale. And we've installed one of these fire strap systems at the top. And that way we know the system is gonna work in full scale. So this is the perfect system for upgrading existing buildings where you've had services that have run through the building after it's been occupied uh, and butchered through the head track. So enter the fire strap. The fire strap is a simple piece of sheet metal that we laser out here in Sydney at our factory. And what you can do on site is take the flat packed piece of steel and bend it and fold it into the shape that's gonna fit around the service or services. And then it's simply, you can cut off the redundant pieces. So this could be folded up to have one service, two services, or even three services that are penetrating together through the head of the wall. As you can see, we have holes at the end of each of these uh, fire straps and that allows for us to, to put our fixings into the wall. Once you've installed the fire strap around the services on both sides of the wall, we simply backfill it with our Firepex HP sealant. A Firepex is an intumescent sealant so it will expand to crush off the services inside of the penetration. Uh, and the services that are approved for the wall systems are PVC conduits, comms cables, power cables, and even PEX pipes for hot and cold water and gas PEX pipes for your gas. The fire strap's also tested in fire rated ceilings, where we have services running up hard against the wall and penetrate through the edge of a fire rated ceiling. We've also done a test that replicates that application. We won't be looking at that in today's video, but make sure you check out the technical manual to get all the specs on how to install that correctly. So we're on site now when we found a head of wall penetration where we've got some conduits and some cables all going across the top of the wall, which is the perfect candidate for a fire strap system. To install this, you're going to need to have a Firepex HP sealant, a hammer drill, the fire strap, one for both sides of the wall, and some M6 by 50mm Dyna bolts. And the other thing we're going to need is to check the technical manual to make sure that what we have here is represented by one of our tested systems. Now it's time to uh, install the fire strap and we're going to start to fold it into shape using the patent painting design uh, that's quite innovative that allows you to bend it to the right shape to suit the size of the penetration. So I'm going to do, I'm going to use the full width of the strap to get around all surfaces in one and we're going to go and bolt it into place. So I've got my folded fire strap, I'm just going to make sure that it's going to fit around the surfaces, which looks perfect. I'm going to take the hammer drill and I'm going to mark out where I'm going to drill my holes and then I'm going to drill them out for our donor bolts. So of course it's important to document what's been installed in these pacifier penetration systems and we can do that with these labels that Trafalgar now supplies. The labels give you everything you need to fill out, the FRL, the manufacturer, the installer, and we've even put down the test report number, which for the fire strap is FAR4849. We also have a QR code on the sticker which takes you to the website with the product range and you can access those test reports directly. So everything the next person needs to inspect this penetration correctly. Now, of course, once you've installed the fire strap on this side of the wall, we will be installing one on the other side because the walls are always rated for fire in both directions. We don't know which way the fire is going to come from. That's it for today, everyone. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe for more. See you next time.